Hey everybody, this is Matt Dickman of Techno Marketer, and this is another edition of Inside Out. Today I'm going to take a look at a new Twitter competitor called Identica. Uh, Identica basically is an open source version of Twitter, um, where you can take the software that they're running on this and basically create your own uh, like internal Twitter client, so you could use it inside of company firewall, uh, or you could create a public facing one like Identica. So the, the premise is the same. Um, they've carried over the 140 character limit, um, more so for the mobile uh, application of this. So text messaging, you have to be aware of how many characters you can send per message. So 140 stays well under that limit on most major carriers. So uh, that's why I think you're seeing this 140 carry over from, from option to option. So Identica, it's fairly straightforward. Um, the timeline is the same, so you have this public timeline. Uh, you can update, um, so doing a video post on Identica. So as soon as you update that, it jumps down into the timeline, refreshes the rest. Um, when you look at the actual profile for a person, it's set up a little bit different. Uh, you know, it's still got the same basic information, where you are, um, so some statistics, that kind of thing, and kind of gives your timeline below, so in your own profile. So it's just another way to look at it. Uh, the replies tab, just as you would expect, uh, people just reply back. They've carried through the at and then the username, so the same thing that was basically originally developed by the Twitter community uh, as a way to communicate one-to-one. -one. Uh, has been adopted throughout all of these options. So you're, you see it in Plurk, you see it in Identica, you see it in Twitter, um, you see it in other options like BrightKite. Um, you know, you could basically go to personal and it's going to give you uh, more of a, uh, your own individual timeline. So it's, it's got all the options. Um, you know, there's a public tab. What, when this first came out, people were basically saying that, you know, it's more stable than Twitter. And of course, what happened was all the Twitter users, or a large portion of them, went over, crashed Identica, jumped back to, to Twitter, and there was no real major switch. So this kind of just peaked last week. Um, I haven't really heard too much buzz about it since then, but just wanted to give you a view on what it is. So if you hear about it, you know. And that's kind of the point of doing these videos. So uh, if you have a site that you'd like me to review, just shoot me an email. It's mattdickman at gmail.com. Or you can leave a post on any comment. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon.